good. How are you, nice sir? To see you. Nice, nice to see you. See you. Pleasure. Nice to see you. Hey, American oh, Whiskey Experience. Experience. I beat you to it. Yes, you did. You did. Uh, I'm I'm Pete. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no, James. I'm James. <laughs> I'm Pete. <laughs> I'm Pete. Right. You're Pete. I am. I, he, I'm I am. James. I'm Pete. Yeah. Whatever. Don't repeat it. It is what it is. Right. Uh, hey, welcome <laughs> to everyone uh, again to American Whiskey Experience. Yeah. So we, tonight we, we are going to do a uh, a collab store pick between Worldwide Liquors and Bev King. Uh, both are in Never Connecticut. Stayed. Norwalk. Yep, Never Stayed. Stayed. Yep. One's Norwalk, one's Huntington, Connecticut. So um, this is something you could find in the, the Connecticut area in New England. Right. Uh, Penelope. So, so it's a Penelope Reserve 13-year light whiskey. Yeah. Again, collaboration between Beverage King and Worldwide Liquors. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a store pick that they picked together and they bottled and put out. Yeah, and we're uh, thankful for that. Absolutely, that absolutely. So um, this is uh, Penelope Bourbon. They're out of New Jersey. Yes. And the juice, we believe, is from MGP. It is. Um, so allegedly. It, allegedly. And so. this is a 131 proof. We are moving the needle up, as they say, yes. in the bourbon yeah. world. Again, 13 years. The mash bill on this one, from what we understand, is 99% corn, 1% malted barley. Woo! So It's a 13-year. So you have actually tried this before, and I have not. I did. I opened it because I knew we were going to review this, and, you know, if you let it breathe, you it's going to change too. it up. Early sample was very good. I went back to it again one more time for a quick little pour. Yep. I enjoyed it even better. Uh, it, it's nice to have an, an older aged uh, whiskey uh, bourbon in your... A MSRP on this is $80. Yeah, it's about 80 bucks. Yep. 75 80 bucks, I think, is, is correct. Yep. Uh, you know what's cool about the name Penelope? Do you want to know how they got the name Penelope? I don't know. Well, my friend Brandon, who loves to tell stories, tell story about on story. Two Finger Spirits. Yep, check them uh, out too. Check them out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and I think they do some other things too as well. Um, that gate TikTok shit. <laughs> yeah, they do some of that stuff. <laughs> right. Hey, welcome to whatever. Right, right. Uh, so Penelope, actually, so the founders of, of them, uh, Mike and his wife, they found out that they were going to have a uh, expecting a baby girl. Okay. And the name of the baby girl was Penelope. Penelope. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's so they cool. named their business after their daughter, Penelope. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. That's cool. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, just so you know, too, they also make um, a four-grain barrel strength, a rose cast finish, a private select, which we have over there, and a toasted barrel, which we have over there. Both of those are amazing. Right. I haven't had the uh, the pick last year was the rose too. cask yet, but I'm thinking I'm gonna pick that up too and try it. Well, just well, well, it. To pick from last year. It'll look great with the other four bottles. You or don't five bottles. Bottle, bottle, do you? I love the butterscotch bomb. That's a good one. We're gonna talk about that some other time. I yeah. think we reviewed that actually once we, we might have, right? we might have. during the summertime. We might have to go back to that. So, uh, you know, thirteen year again, uh, thirteen year American light whiskey, corn and uh, barley malt proof, one thirty one like Pete said, yeah. so sixty five point five percent. This was a uh, selected by two uh, local stores in our area, Beverage King in Norwalk and Worldwide in Southington, Connecticut. Uh, two great places oh, to go. Not only for their whiskey, Good people, good knowledge. Um, good knowledge, but their yeah. beer selection is great too as well. Absolutely. And other, other fine spirits. Absolutely. Yep. So, so what do you think? It's a little, uh, kind of a... It's light to it's me light. in it's, color. It's light. It's like a, it's almost like a dark honey. Mm-hmm. It's you know, a, tea, yeah. dark honey. You know. It's, it's, it's very light. Not because the name is light whiskey. It's just, it is, it is where it is. Ooh. But for a 13 year, uh, you're surprised it's this kind of... Yes. Color, right? Yep. But don't worry about it. It's going to get better, I promise you. All right. So so for me, there's certain whiskeys and bourbons and rice. When you breathe in, it it tickles your nose. It's got a little ethanol. Yeah. It's got a little, it's got a little you know, I can tell. I like that tickle. No, no, I, I do. <clears throat> it's 131 proof. Well, you're yeah, expecting, yeah. You might expect I it. I might get a little bit of that. No, but it's not off-putting. <clears throat> but you could tell the you could tell there's some proof there. I definitely get. I'm get. I, I'm getting. Actually, it's a great bottle too, by the way, guys. Being a high percentage corn, I kind of thought I was going to get more sweetness in the nose, and I yeah. don't. Okay. I actually get some floral. That makes sense because I got that as well. Okay. All right. I mean, again, this is. Yep. Um, I get a sweet vanilla. Very faint for me. Mm. Very faint. More floral, more floral um, than anything for me. So when I say vanilla, I think of like a vanilla frosting, like on a cupcake. Yeah. Okay. But 
like yeah like fun it's almost to me sweetness. it's like it, it, the vanilla is just a touch it's almost like vanilla extract just a drop of it like yeah. very small percentage i mean if you smell vanilla extract you know when you make it like i make french toast or something like that right you drop a couple you smell that that's what that's the vanilla i'm getting that is that potent it, it, well it's it's different it's different than right like when you think of like a vanilla ice cream or like a I'm, vanilla I'm, like a vanilla oak or you taste vanilla in a in another bourbon it's different it's more that liquid vanilla extract for sure okay i'm still getting a lot of floral i'm getting a touch of vanilla i get a touch a touch of oak or woodiness not a lot you know what i get too as well from that sweetness. Have you ever had like pure cane sugar before? Yeah, raw sugar. Raw sugar. Like, you yeah. know, I'm talking like a like a stalk. I don't even um, know. You don't you don't know no. on stalks? You no. don't have it in your back? No, I don't. I don't. So I've I've lucked I've been lucky where I've been away for vacations or something like that and been to, you know, some Caribbean islands where it's like cane pure oh, sugar. Yeah, I've had it. And they uh, put it in their drink and then Puerto you're Rico, Yeah, what and you're chewing yeah. on cane sugar? Yeah. It, it, it's it's that's not it's it's not that's what you're getting okay on the nose and you and and like molasses almost like a, <sighs> or not it's like... just the purest pure sugar there is like okay. a, like a simple syrup pure sugar I'm getting more sweetness um, now and I don't know if it's because you're telling me maybe but, but I mean but, for, but, but you, if you ever had cane sugar for out there if you ever had like a, okay. a, a, a stalk of cane sugar yeah like in a mojito they make them a lot where they give you like a, a uh, cane sugar stick. And you, you, know, you might chew on it, that's what you're getting on the nose, okay. and you might get it on the palate. I gotta so, taste it, I can't. Yeah, taste it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. American whiskey experience, by the way. And I, and I get that, that, that pure cane sugar again on there. But there's also other stuff there All as right. well. Here comes the sweetness. Yeah. Big time. Here comes the sweetness. Here's, here's that 99% corn. Yeah. Yeah, I get like, um, Definitely corn sweetness, creamy, a uh, you know, little bit of vanilla. But creme like, brulee. Creme brulee. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinnamon. Well, a little bit cinnamon more on the back end. Oh, well, totally on the back end. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, over but here mid, now. But mid yeah. palate is, just, is creamy yeah. vanilla, um, a little bit of spice, not too much, like, not too much. And this, this does not drink like 131. Um, For me, anyway. On the finish, it drinks like 131. I get a little On burn. the nose and the palate, no, it doesn't. I'll tell you. I'm en- I would enjoy you, a two you, ounce pour of this. If you poured me this blind, I, yeah. I would not guess 131. You would think lower. I'd guess 115. Well, that's a big difference. It is. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, I've drank. I, mean, stuff I, mean, I know you like high proof. No, so I do. I get it. This doesn't drink hot like that for me. Wow. Um, huh. But mid palate is, is, I mean, that creamy. Creme brulee. Oh, that creme brulee. Corn, corn sweetness. hundred percent. You get that corn. toasted sugar yeah. on top and that creaminess. There's some caramelization in there. Mm-hmm. You know, without a doubt. Um, there's definitely that wood presence, a little bit of oak. Um, the finish, super, super easy. Is it going down? Definitely some Kentucky hug. Well, there's some yeah, some, some work going down. There's there. Um, but that sweetness kind of starts from the nose all the way through. And again, for me, it's that cane sugar sweetness. It's that pure, mm. pure. It it lasts for a while sure, too. Yeah. It stays with me for a while. I don't get that. Oh, it's gonna stay in your cheeks. Yeah, I don't get that on the nose. It's more so the palate and the finish. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna agree with you on that. I one. mean, the palate just big flavor. I mean, just great mouthfeel <clears throat> coverage. You, so, I mean, again, we'll go back to this maybe off camera, but so far between the nose, the palate, and the finish, what are you what are you enjoying oh, the most? Palette. Palette the finish. Yeah. I mean, like it just transitions very well. Um, again, obviously, you know I like higher proof whiskey. Typically, um, this, this does not really drink good. high. And it, you get a little of that oakiness. Very slight. Yeah, but it, but it's, it's 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 just a touch of it. It's a little kiss. Yeah, and I, don't, I, I think it's more of a of an aged oak more than a, than a newer dry oak. Like a, right. you know, there's just you know a new oak, a dry oak, and an aged oak. Age is a little more. It, you know, dry has a little bit more like drier burn almost like mm-hmm. almost like you're having like a, a cabernet to get you you know yeah, what i mean this doesn't this doesn't have that no 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 uh, this is more uh not like new oak live oak fresh yeah. oak different than that but dry you know but uh that that palette's very very good it is it really is and we're drinking a 13 year you know hmm. think about where you were 13 years ago I know, right? Oh, we were drinking whiskey. I was 17 years old. We were drinking beer and whiskey. Yeah, I wish you were 17. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. 
Uh, okay, this is very good. I, it's 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 a win. Well, you know, there's no secret that I like what he picks. I mean, we're hard yeah, to, I mean, they're they're you know, Beverage King, um, harsher for Beverage King. He picks. I like what he picks. I mean, he picks great whiskey. I, well, because you know, he's a, he's an enthusiast. He, he is, enjoys what he's he is. picking. He's yeah, not no. just doing it to make a profit. In most cases, he's probably not making a profit. No. Honestly, no. Nope. Uh, he's just trying to build a clientele that enjoy the product line that we enjoy. Absolutely. Um, he his his picks. I haven't had one pick yet that <sighs> made me wonder why he did it. Same this thing for really, worldwide. They the, they're. they're his his palate is and, and his taste. And See, his I, I have never been. There. I, got, I got a stuff up there. Yeah, the great product. You know, his store I, picks are amazing. So to put them two together. Yeah. You know, they picked the right one. Oh my god, this is really good. And then local for those who live in the East Coast area, uh, this is New Jersey. So uh, go. You know, we're gonna have to field trip. We're gonna do a field trip there at some point. Either you know, I, we gotta go soon. You know what? Going back to the nose. Yeah. Sorry to. Yeah, no, go ahead. Now I get more sweetness. As the glass empties, mm -hmm. I get cane sugar. Nah. It took a while. I'm telling you, <clears throat> it's not I, that it's not that artificial sugar, you know, it's no, not made. No, it's almost like a, it's pure it's sugar. Like, like a touch of molasses, cane yeah. sugar. I, now I get that more. But it doesn't have that sweetness that will overpower you, like no, like it's not a whole bunch sweet. of sugar on the bottom no, of not, a iced tea not, or something. Not, not surface it's sweet. It's not no, that. Well. Um, Very it's, good. It's what great. a great, what a great pick. What a great pick. Well, you know, to wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> this is going. I don't think anybody has any of this left on the shelf. I don't know if they do or not. Honestly, uh, someone on on Facebook asked me where I got it. I, I mentioned both locations. I hope yeah. they pick it up. I don't know if there's any available. I, there might be between between the two stores. There might be. I don't know how many well, bottles well, we, they well, pick. we sleep in the parking lot before he opens up. We usually, do. So um, you know. But I knew when it was going to come out, and, and you know, we, we, we signed up and we got it. Um, you have a bottle have of it that you're going to crack open. Yeah. You picked up this weekend yeah. that I dropped off to you. Uh, but check them out. I'd say, you know, even their, yeah. their, their normal offerings from Penelope are very good. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, this is a store pick, obviously, from people in Connecticut here that own their own stores. But, I'm, you know, they, you know Penelope sells, mm. you know, this American, American White, White whiskey. whiskey. So, yeah. Um, Very pick it up good. because you're gonna enjoy it, especially if you like a higher proof um, whiskey. So, so pick this up, try it. A lot of flavor. Let us know what you think about it. Check um, us out. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Facebook. Uh, what's the other one? YouTube. YouTube. The yeah. most important one. The one we're watching. Where you're gonna, yeah, you're watching on YouTube right, right? now. Yeah. And we don't do that other thing that, that they do. We don't do anything else yet. Um, that brand new thing. Yeah, they do um, the, um, the high school girl TikTok thing. TikTok thing. I don't, yeah, I, I, I'm just not, you know, I don't think we're there yet. I, I no. think our age tells us that we're not supposed to be on no. TikTok. But again, try it. Think, what, you know, let us know what you think. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, American Whiskey Experience. Again, we thank you. Appreciate um, it. Share, Appreciate your support. Like. Yeah, I, I, you know. Thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be doing this. It's fun. We'd just be drinking. <laughs> no camera. It's not too All bad right. either, right? It's not a bad idea. Right? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks.